I was wondering if you could please comment on your thoughts about why Egypt won't allow refugees from Gaza, as well as all the Muslim nations which surround Israel. What is the reasoning preventing refuge to the Palestinians? Thank you. Oh, I'll tell you the reason. They can't stand the Palestinians. And the reason they can't stand the Palestinians is because wherever the Palestinians have gone to in the Arab world, there has been massive bloodshed as a result. They were the primary uh, instigators of the, uh, of the civil war in Lebanon. Uh, they, were, they were so disruptive in Jordan that the king of Jordan, Hussein, killed tens of thousands of them. That's what's called Black September, when so many Palestinians were killed by Jordan. Of course, nobody talks about this because it wasn't Israel who killed them. It was another Arab state. Egypt, Egypt doesn't want this, uh, this group uh, in their midst either. Uh, I know this is really, really, uh, uh, what is the word, politically incorrect, but the Palestinians are not an impressive people if morality it renders you impressive or not impressive. Okay, if it, the, the legacy of terror committed by Palestinians is probably the greatest of any one single group on earth today. They're the people who slaughtered the entire Israeli Olympic team in the 1972 Olympics. They're the people who blew up a, a school buses filled with school children in Israel. And here's the thing. They are heroes among fellow Palestinians. Here's another thing that you might find of interest with regard to the Palestinians. I, I realize this in speaking about the difference between the Nazis and Hamas, because there's only one difference. They both want to exterminate the Jewish people, but there is one difference. Hamas bragged about what they did to their fellow Palestinians, and the Nazis hid what they did to the Jews from their fellow Germans. In other words, there were more Germans who would have been upset about what Hitler was doing to Jews than there are Palestinians upset about Iran or, or Hamas would do to Jews. Yeah, I'm sorry, I hate to say this. I wish it weren't true. It's an unimpressive group. Are there impressive individual Palestinians? Of course there are. Of course. There's no group that's all good or all bad. But uh, uh, ask Jordan, ask Lebanon, and uh, ask uh, Egypt what they think about the Palestinians. Don't, don't ask the Israelis. In fact, the Israelis were much kinder to Palestinians. In, in fact, ironically, there were, there were one, one fifth of all of Israel are Palestinians, ironically, Palestinian Arabs. But they, they have become used to Western civilization and to tolerance and to openness. And, and notice that they have not sided with Hamas, but the Palestinians outside of Israel have. That's, uh, in fact, every poll done by Arab polling has shown that Israeli Arabs are more pro-Israel now than at any time since the since Israel was established. None of this would, however, uh, be known to most people because they don't report this. And of course, you you know, there's such a desire to say, oh, you know, there are beautiful Israelis and beautiful Palestinians and ugly Israelis and ugly Palestinians. Of course, that's true. But as in the sum total. You know, you know, a lot of uh, Palestinians were driven to Israeli hospitals if their kid had cancer. Yeah, Israelis, Jewish Israelis would be driving them. One of the reasons that the Israelis were so hurt by what happened October 7th, aside from the, the, the evil that took place, was the disappointment. Because so many uh, from Gaza had been working in the homes they would cross the border and be treated beautifully by Israelis uh, and, and uh, over the course of years. But they were taking notes about where the, where the shelters were, where, where an Israeli could hide in terms of attack. And that is one of the ways in which the butchers of October 7th found Israelis. So that's why Egypt doesn't want Palestinians inside of Egypt.